Hey foodies, this favorite spot will put you in vacation mode with its fish and views. It is awesome, but it gets packed. So our resident foodie, Renata DiGregorio, takes us behind the scenes with some vital information on when you can actually get a table at Caps on the Water. Let's go to St. Augustine. Hey foodies, we're about to show you something you may have never seen. That's because we are at Caps on the Water before they have opened, so it's empty. I'm told this place gets crazy, puts the word busy to shame. So we are on your side with all of your foodie picks. Fresh shavings of Parmesan, a few more on there, make it extra happy. Hey foodies, does Parmesan equal happiness? You could say so at Caps on the Water in St. Augustine. Our pear ravioli appetizer, it's like one of our wildly famous appetizers. With Parmesan broth heating up for that. Get those nice and happy in the sauce. We do three per order, and I would say that we probably go through, I don't know, 500 of them a week. My favorite thing is always pear ravioli, and sesame seed tuna probably. Fresh fried spinach, wild rice, a couple of fried plantains. This is our banana curry sauce. Fresh grouper. Sweet and savory of the sauce. A little bit of spicy with the fish. A little punch of the pickled vegetable there at the end. Remember we said this place gets crazy busy? Owner Bernard Dayrad says they're valet only and busiest around sunset. I always say come early or come late. You wait for your table on the pier. Within 15, 20 minutes you are on the pier where we have servers where you can have a great drink and a small appetizer. Grab your drink, your pear ravioli and your fish fried or sizzling right here. Your table's ready at Caps on the Water. Renata DiRigorio, First Coast News, on your side.